Thank you for purchasing your new SynchroWave ACDC TIG welder. This video will walk you through the general setup procedure for your new SynchroWave TIG welder. Before you get started, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual and always wear appropriate PPE. Your SynchroWave will arrive on a skid with a protective cardboard covering. Remove the cardboard box by lifting it up and off of the machine. Remove the two lag bolts from the cylinder rack in the back of the machine. Also, remove the four small screws from the brackets near the front of the machine. Lastly, lift the machine up and off the pallet using a hoist or a two-person lift. Remove the machine accessories from the box. Install front handles by locating and removing the two hole caps on the front of the machine. Next, remove the T25 Torx screws located on the side of the machine. Insert the handles into the holes and orient the handles in the upward or outward position. Secure the handles by reinstalling the screws. Next, locate holes on the side of the machine near the rear wheel. Use hardware provided to secure the foot control holster to the side of the machine. Put the chain on. Fill the cooler with three gallons of coolant. Remove the cap, pour coolant in, and replace the cap. Using the supplied gas hose and regulator, locate the gas port on the back side of the machine and attach the hose. Place the gas cylinder in the cylinder rack and secure it with the chain. Next, install the regulator on the gas tank or gas supply line and connect the other end of the gas hose. Locate the TIG torch and connect it to the machine as shown. Connect the work clamp to the machine and clamp to your workpiece or table. Connect the foot pedal into the 14-pin connector. Now it's time to configure the input power connection. Only a qualified person should perform this step. Select the appropriate plug for your input power and install on the end of the power cord. If using a three-phase plug on single-phase power, ensure the two line phases are connected to the black and white conductors on the power source side. Plug it into the wall. Your machine is now ready for operation.